Good morning, folks. We've got top news from the strange to the helpfully scientific. We also answer your questions on our upcoming book, but there is a lot to do first, starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun mostly quiet. The sun is painted up like sunspot maximum, but acting like its first day on the job, too shy to say much. The sunspots have been remarkably silent recently. The southern groupings have released no flares, development is being monitored ahead of the biggest group, and so are some small ones on the north, but incoming at the eastern limb, that is a massive complex of spots. This one turns into view today and will be facing Earth directly over the next week. Eyes on it. Folks, we'll start with a fun one. The Japanese Killing Stone, said to kill any who come near it, mysteriously split in two. The ultra-scientific and educational weather channel running the story concerning dark forces trapped inside, now free to roam the Earth. Okay, let's go out to a new stellar system. The baby star is just getting its planetary disk in order to start making planets, and ALMA managed to scope the largest molecules ever seen in a protoplanetary disk. A full chemistry workup comes with the article, and this is yet another step in the direction of realization that these young stellar systems already have enormous levels of molecular complexity. It helps us remember that our solar system is probably not special, and neither is the Earth. Up next, it's Nicer and NASA saying they spotted repeating flashpoints on a magnetar, and then they watched those flashpoints merge. They want to liken it to sunspots merging. It may, in fact, be changes in the larger magnetic field structures of the star, like we see with the opening and closing of coronal holes on the sun. But either way, magnetar bursts represent one of the most magnetically dominated explosions in the known universe, and their animations of them seem to change by the year. Lastly, on the article front, fairness to thine enemies. Valentina Zarkova and I do not get along. She is the one who tricked tens of thousands of you into thinking the sunspot cycle wasn't going to happen, that we'd be entering grand solar minimum right now. Obviously hasn't happened as we're ahead of the last cycle marks, but here she is back to what she's great at, spotting correlations. Powerful negative correlation between sunspots and volcanic eruptions brings us all the way back to cosmic rays and volcanoes, also an opposite flux pattern to the sunspots. And as I was giving her a golf clap in my head, got down to the last sentence of the abstract, and she did sneak her incorrect grand solar minimum timeline in there as well. Grr. But got to agree with her, the major volcanic uptick could be reasonably forecast for the next sunspot cycle when global magnetism of our star shifts southward once again. Folks, the number one question by more than double yesterday was, hey, I just got one or both of those books. Are you telling me I've got to buy them again to get the new info? No, that'd be a snowflake move. This is a third book, all the updates inside. Whether you got the previous books when they came out in 2020 or just last week, this new supplement is meant to take away the need to buy stuff again. Just the whipped cream and the cherries that go on top. We greatly appreciate your support. Get those books now in preparation for the supplement release. Ever feel time pressured and squeezed by a book before? We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.